Hi, Keith from My Point Exactly here. Whether a consumer or business user, sometimes you need to visit many stops in a particular area, and you need a convenient way to generate the most time and cost efficient route that helps you plan out your day. A few real world scenarios we've recently helped folks with include a doctor's office looking to schedule in home medical visits, an insurance sales company following up on leads where responders requested a meeting. A vinyl siding company looking to follow up on a mail program with a personal visit. A garage sale enthusiast looking to make sure she's hit all the sales she can in the most expeditious and profitable manner possible. So there are many reasons you might have the need to add a bunch of push pins to a route and generate directions for a run. In this example, and in honor of the 2012 presidential election, I'll assume I'm a campaign volunteer with the task of following up face-to-face -face with all party donors in the Portland area that have contributed more than $500 in previous election campaigns. In my fictitious example, I was given a list of contributors in an Excel file and have imported them into Streets and Trips. Here is our campaign headquarters and I'll begin and end my canvassing project from this location. I've zoomed out to see all the points that I need to include on my route and I click on the Route Planner button. Using my mouse, I right click and draw a rectangle across the area encompassing all my points including my start and end location of campaign headquarters. Then I place my mouse within the rectangle I've just drawn, right click again and choose Add Push Pins as Stops. I see that Streets and Trips has automatically added each push pin as a stop in the Route Planner pane. If my rectangle has included a stop that doesn't need to be a part of my route, I can click on it on the map and see that it is highlighted in the Route Planner pane. Now I can choose the Delete Stop option to remove it. Note that if you want to try adding a group of points again, you can clear the entire list added with this button. Okay, I look for campaign headquarters and see it here near the bottom as stop 17. I need to position HQ as my route start and end. To do so, I click on the stop, choose the move down arrow to place it at the end of the route. Notice the stop number is red. Then I right click on the stop and choose add as start. Now I see that my headquarters has been added as my route start and notice that it has a green stop number. Now that I'm beginning and ending my route at campaign headquarters, I click the Optimize Stops button so that Streets and Trips will create the most efficient route order. As a part of my planning, I want to estimate what time I'll be finished with my task this afternoon. I plan to leave HQ at 8 a.m. and figure I'll spend an average of 10 minutes speaking with each contributor. I click on my starting point and then click the Schedule Stop button. I check the Depart At box, choose 8 a.m. and click OK. Now I click on the next stop, choose the Schedule Stop button again, and enter 10 minutes in the Stop 4 box, and I repeat this for each stop. If you truly just need to get an idea when you're going to be finished, you can of course just multiply the number of contributors by 10 minutes and add that value to your route travel time. But if you take a minute to enter the stop times here, as you work through the day, you'll have an idea of where you'll be at what time. And if you're calling ahead to confirm with contributors that they're available, this feature will help you know about what time you'll be stopping by. Okay, once you've got all your data entered, go ahead and click Get Directions. Now when I click on the Directions button, I see that Streets and Trips has generated turn-by-turn -turn instructions. It's taken into account the schedule stop info we just entered, so I see the projected arrival time for each of my stops. Now I'm ready to hit the streets. I confidently follow my plan knowing I'm running it in the most efficient manner possible. And because I know where I'll be on the route at any given time, I can call ahead to my donors and let them know when I'm stopping by. 
Hey, thanks for watching this video. We hope you found it helpful information. Come back to MyPointSales.com for more tips. If there's something you'd like to learn, drop us a line at learn at MyPointSales.com.